you guys asked for it so i'm delivering it literally one person today i'm doing a chanel haul i absolutely love these kinds of videos because chanel just makes me so happy i think i'm more in love with chanel ready to wear than handbags currently and like accessories in general i just love chanel ready to wear and it's only recently that i started to buy chanel ready to wear and really actually appreciate it it's such an amazing investment and i don't mean an investment in the sense that you can buy it now and sell it later for a premium although you can chanel really holds its value it's timeless it's classic it's well crafted it's beautiful it's just so elegant and it's something which i feel i can wear now and pass down to potential children. Today we have three different types of Chanel. We have the Coco Beach collection, which is their newest collection. It's a capsule collection for their beach wear. I wasn't like obsessed with the collection, but there were a few pieces I loved. And there was also the Metier collection. I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that launched in June. Wait, is it still June? And I put some pieces on hold. I got to pick them up before I shot it off to Bodrum. Then I went to Bodrum, but I was reconsidering my trip because the day of my trip, my essays messaged me saying there's gonna be a private sale on the 17th i didn't get back till the 21st and when you get invited to a chanel sale you don't say no sorry i can't make it doesn't happen why why would you want to do that chanel on sale is practically unheard of although saying that last year in fact was the first year personally for me where i experienced the text a text from chanel notifying all customers that there was a chanel sale during covid actually after the lockdown i do get invited to private sales and let me just tell you private sales happen right before public public sales wow private sales are magical i have shown you guys what private sales are like you can check my other vlogs but this was different because obviously i was in bodrum i wasn't able to attend however my kind kind essays sent me pictures of all the items that were available in my size and like pieces that they thought I would like. Fortunately, I was able to shop, pay online and get myself delivered to me. So today I have an exciting haul for you guys. I also have vlogs of when I went to Chanel to pick up my Metier collection pieces and my Coco Beach collection and some sale pieces. Other sale pieces I just purchased online and they got delivered to me just now, which is why I'm filming this vlog. Everyone please notice and appreciate the tan. I'm actually not wearing foundation. I think this is what I love most about being tan. Enough about my face. First, let's get into the newest collection, the Messier's collection, which we'll skip to a vlog now. Today, I am heading to Mall of Emirates, which is right over there. And I'm gonna be checking out the wish list items that I had put on hold and ordered from Chanel. This new collection is not one of my favorites, I'm not gonna lie, but there were some really cute pieces that I wanted to get, which I'm excited to see. She also sent me a list of some of the pieces they received in store. I'm hoping they have something cute because I'm feeling spendy. Time for my Chanel shopping experience. My eyes have been instantly drawn to this. Wow. Like I know I said I don't need unnecessary things, but she's so cute. What is this? It's a necklace. Okay, come on guys, unnecessary. Like why do I want to be wearing? Huh? Oh, it's the airport holder. This necklace. Is this a necklace or is this a belt? This jacket. Oh, she's cute. This is cute. And then we have a selection over here. I really wanted to try this dress on. There's this jumper. There's this. What is this? Oh, this is the off-the-shoulder jacket. This cardigan, I think this is the one I wanted, but let's see. There's also this. Online it looked plastic, but it's not. And then we have the chessboard. Okay, I didn't think I'd like this because <laughs> it's an AirPods holder, but like, it's kind of a vibe. <gasps> but this bag, oh my goodness. I was like, if it's 30,000, I'll take it. This is 50,000 dirhams. Um, maybe not. Okay, cardigan is a bit of me, but I want the white one. I think I have too much black Chanel. And it's not badly priced either. Okay, this is the off the shoulder jacket. I don't know how I feel about this, to be honest. If it wasn't Chanel, I wouldn't look twice at it, to be honest. Okay, I didn't think I was gonna like this, but I kind of love it. And then I saw the price tag. Okay, love this, classic. But I want the white, off white, yes. <laughs> this is in the size 38 and it's perfect. It's exactly how I want it. 
And I'm also getting one more thing, but I want you guys to see that when I get home. I think I'm getting it. Chanel shopping done. The one item that I did want, it was actually for someone else, so I couldn't get it. But I did pay for it and she said she's going to deliver it to my house. However, I will be going back to Chanel in like two days, three days for the launch of the Cocoa Beach collection, which, I, which I'm actually quite excited about. I put a few things on hold. I'm excited to see those. It wasn't as cool as the last Cocoa Beach collection. Anyways, I'm still excited. And there is a Chanel sale. She was like, what time would you like to come? And I was like, what time do you open? I will be there. Honestly, with Chanel sales, even though you get invited, you have to get there early because if you don't, I mean, it is by appointment, but if you don't take an appointment early, you'll you'll miss out on the really nice things. I'm so gutted I couldn't get that little bag today. I'm sorry, but like 50,000 dirhams, 8,000 pounds on a bag this small is just, it's not, it doesn't sit right with me just yet. Not me doing a Chanel haul on the floor. Now I'm back, I decided I wanna actually unbox this now because I think I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. In fact, I'm probably most likely going to wear this tomorrow. Even though this is not spring summer, it's not the most ideal piece to be wearing in spring summer. It's something which is actually so beautiful. It wasn't at the top of my wish list, I'm not gonna lie. I did get the one item I really wanted, which, like I said, I'll get soon. But this, I didn't actually show you this on. No. You deserve. Oh, you just woke up, my love. <laughs> These two are in love. Okay. This is a cashmere. I think it's cashmere. Well, whatever it is. It's a Chanel dress. And it's actually like a midi dress, but it kind of fits me like a fitted maxi. I kind of love it. And I'm not the biggest fan of maxi or midi dresses, but this is a size 34 and it looks stunning on. Like, wow. It's got this beautiful embroidered kind of like knitted detailing. And you can kind of see the Chanel signs all over the dress. Very subtle, not in your face. And it's got this little Chanel button over here. Wow. I'm so excited to wear this. I was hesitant to put it on. I was like, I don't know if this is gonna look good on me, but I tried it on and I was like, sold. It's a winner. This is the dress. I love this. This is one of those pieces you can just dress up and dress down, my favorite kind. And it's also very subtle. It's not like super in your face, like Chanel. In a few days, I'm gonna be going back to Chanel to check out the Cocoa Beach collection, pick up the pieces I pre-ordered, as well as potentially pick up my other piece unless they deliver it to my house. And then there is a Chanel sale. Okay, so as you guys saw, I picked up this beautiful cashmere dress. I absolutely love it, it's so stunning. I actually wore it to a Celine event that following evening. It's like a glove, although it could be fitted more. That's not really that much of an issue. And then I also picked up this cardigan. I live for Chanel jackets, cardigans, and just pieces you can throw on through everyday outfits. I think they're just fantastic. Because I'm just a very everyday kind of girl. Casual, chilled, laid back. I don't want fussiness. And this is one piece which I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of. I do love a good cardigan. It has the Chanel detailing on the sleeves and some beautiful embroidered detailing. Next, let's skip to when I went to pick up my Chanel sale stuff. Guys, I'm back at Chanel post Bodrum, ready to do my Chanel sale shopping. I didn't get to attend the sale because obviously I was in Bodrum, but I did ask her to keep some pieces on hold for me, mainly this dress. Not that, I'm not sure about that, but this was cute too. I wish I got the purple one. And then this piece, and then from the Coco Beach collection, we have the cutout, and then we have this one. Let's see how this goes. She's bringing me some accessories as well. Not sure how I feel about this. I do like it though, kind of. She bought me more. This is the one I really wanted, but it's a size 48. I actually just bought this from Dubai Mall. This is 
interesting this is also cute this it's a bit of me because i'm a granny that is also cute but looks huge this actually doesn't look that big or am i just kidding me no it's massive it's a 48 Oh my. Okay, this is just me through and through. Oversized, navy, but she's detailed. First, let's start with my Cocoa Beach piece. This I'm excited about. There were two pieces I really wanted. This is the one which actually fit best. Here we have a one piece. I'm not huge on one pieces, don't get me wrong. I do love to get a good tan and be almost naked when I'm at the pool. But this one piece, I definitely intend on wearing more as like a bodysuit than a one piece. Although obviously I will wear it as a one piece. Like for beach clubs, I love wearing one pieces with like shorts. I love this. It's got a cutout detail in the middle and then it's got this lovely Chanel detailing on the back. And as you guys can see, it's got like a sparkly Chanel sitch over there. I picked this up in size 34, fits like a glove. I do love the color, it does come in navy, but I thought I'd be bold and go for pink. I'm trying to be more adventurous with the colors that I buy because how much black and white can a girl wear? It's never too much, but you get to a point in life where you're like, I need some color. Hey, then, what is this? Oh, they gave me the, the images from the collection. I have one big dust bag. These are the two pieces I was most excited about. Start with the dress. This is a beautiful little dress. I'm not sure which collection this is from, but I love it regardless. Super cute. It is actually see-through, which I don't mind. I'll probably end up wearing like a little, I can get the Jack Moose knitted set and wear that underneath. Alternatively, I can just wear like my Dior briefs underneath and a little Dior bralette. I love it. I think it's really cute. I think it's meant to be drop waist, but honestly drop waist doesn't look so great on me. I could actually just belt it, but I love this. It's got cap sleeves and a collar which buttons up and there's Chanel buttons. I love it. It's kind of like the fit of an Aliyah, but not. Do you get what I mean? I'm so excited about this piece. I just need bright colored Chanel jackets in my life. It's just something I need. This, wow, this little piece. I had my eye on when it first came out. I can't remember the collection. I do think it might have been spring, summer 2020. I don't know. It's just so lovely. And it's not as thick as it looks. It's actually quite thin. I was just obsessed. I saw it, I tried it on, and I was like, I'm sold. Okay, so this is in size 38, which I thought would be too large, but honestly, this was the first piece that I tried on. And as you guys could see, it fit really well it's all collection but it was a steal it honestly was a steal chanel jackets can start from like 21,000 dirhams upwards it's steep but they are investments they're as much as a chanel handbag i then also tried on a jacket at mall of emirates which i already had purchased from dubai mall and i'm glad i tried it on because i really loved it so this package is from dubai mall which i just got I didn't actually try any of these pieces on because I didn't go to Spy Mall, they dropped it off to me. Wow, this is so. <gasps> oh my goodness, wow, look at you. Wow. I'm having a colorful moment, guys. First, let's talk about this one because this is actually the one that I tried on in Mall of Emirates. This is a beautiful, stunning tweed. And it's like blue, it's white, it's black. It's just all the colors that I'm loving right now. I love it. And it's got like these plasticky kind of buttons with Chanel detailing on them. And it's got like a boxy kind of biker jacket silhouette almost. Stunning. It's like a really short kind of pea coat. I love this. I'm so excited to wear this. This is size 36. The one I tried on in Mall of Emirates was actually a 34. So I'm hoping this isn't going to be too large. But then again, I do love to layer. So if anything, I'll probably end up throwing on a hoodie underneath this. Yeah, I'm tragic. Honestly, just tragic. <laughs> but I love this. Oh my goodness. I'm just obsessed with the colors. Stunning. But let's please talk about the last piece. I have not touched. I have not seen. 
I've just literally just bought through the phone. Wow. This stunning piece is in size 36. It is, is it double breasted? No, single breasted blazer jacket. Again, tweed boucle with these stunning buttons. I'm obsessed with this color. Like honestly, red is just one of my favorite colors. I absolutely love this. I love all these pieces. I'm so happy and grateful I was invited to attend the sale, which I didn't attend, but wow. I'm so grateful to have been on that calling list. I will not be shopping till further notice, but I did shop in Bodrum and things that I bought recently whilst I was in Bodrum, I will share with you guys in another haul video. I'm still trying to figure out where and like what kind of videos you guys like. A lot of people love haul videos, like luxury haul videos. Some people hate them and they want more affordable kinds of videos, which is why I agreed to the Fashion Nova partnership. Some people were like, you don't wear Fashion Nova. Yes, I might wear Chanel, but also I wear Topshop, I wear Zara, I wear H&M. Doesn't mean I don't wear Fashion Nova. Let's not get it twisted. I do love luxury fashion, but also I, I do think it's important to show you guys how I actually like to wear high street pieces as opposed to just wearing head to toe designer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be doing more luxury hauls very soon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that bell to get notified if you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in my next video.